Something about Cracker Barrel, man, just gets people riled up in their below parts. Dude, when I have pasta, I get hard. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm the fucking Daytona 500. Is that in Daytona? <laughs> Is Daytona in the Daytona 500? They have I thought it was Dayton. Dayton, Ohio. Where is Daytona? Daytona's in Florida. It doesn't Florida. fucking matter. New merch out now. Guys, I had COVID the whole time. <laughs> it was me, and I got my test back today. I'm negative. I beat it. It's probably going to come back and beat my ass again because, as we know, you talk shit, you get hit with the Rona. Um, it was me. Surprise. Everybody knew it on the episode. People were shocked. Everybody's like, Michael flies girls out yeah. and eats their fucking sous vide goddamn rot up a-holes. Okay. Fuck everyone. All right? Not fuck everyone. I love you guys so much, but you guys were giving me so much shit. Oh, he eats feet for fucking brunch. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I do eat feet for brunch. Fuck whatever. Uh, but I didn't get it because I have a great immune system. And guys, shout out to vitamin D and shout out to zinc and shout out to motherfucking vitamin C because your boy don't have it. I eat tarmac ass and I don't got it. So can I read my favorite comment here from YouTube? <clears throat> sure. All right. This is from a 2007 Toyota Camry SE V6 who says, damn, so I have no idea who has it between the dude who has been at home with his girlfriend and the dude who has been flying two girls in a week from everywhere. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, but you're wrong, Toyota Camera 1997 Dude, SUV. That's that's why I'm pissed. I lived a very <laughs> mundane life. Meanwhile, the Nelk boys are holding a goddamn rally to end fucking the world. I, I love it. And they're just <laughs> raging tits out, pouring coronas down people's earlobes. And I'm sitting at home, like, I love these guys, but a little too reckless for me. All of a sudden, I fucking do one show and I get this shit. Hoax, and not a hoax, so pissed. And what does that tell you, Mr. Wallace? What does that tell you? Live your fucking life and wow. Corona won't get you. I'm just joking. Everyone wear a mask. Don't be crazy. I just got super lucky. Don't be insane. Uh, I will say, though, you know the uh, the legendary comic George Carlin, Trevor Wallace? I do. Of course you do. I do. He has a whole bit about how the people nowadays are always so scared to get fucking sick, so they use antibacterial, and they eat vegan, and blah, 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 and everyone gets more sick. All you got to do is build your immune system up. So go out there. Eat ass on fucking Tuesdays. Is it is it Easter? What are you going to do? Eat ass. And then you won't get COVID. Yeah. That's a great. <laughs> I mean, it is wild. Um, I was mostly concerned that uh, you know, I saw my parents right before I got you know right. positive for it. I didn't give a fuck what happened to me, honest. Whatever, you know. If anything, it was the most emotion I've felt in a while. Just being like, oh, my chest. Mm. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure my parents were okay, which is all that really matters. But also, you know what else fucking matters? What? My merch that I'm wearing right now, stiff socks, motherfucking state. Look at this goddamn crew neck. All right, look at this thing. Guys. You know what? Go Let me get a better zoom. Give it to him. Why are we even doing this freaking remote? I'm negative. I'll go cough on an old lady. All right, hold up. What we just found out 11 minutes ago that you're fucking naked. Also, guys, check this fucking merch out. Oh, look at it. Little fucking hype piece we in the middle. So much goddamn, so much goddamn merch uh, out right now. Yeah, as you just saw, if you're watching the YouTube version, that is a Stiff Socks State University one of one crew neck. Uh, it came out on Monday and we'll probably go until the rest of the week or until everything sells out and it will sell out. And guys, number one, number one, what are we fucking talking about? We did it. We finally we have nut it. towels. Hey, what are you nutting on? Charmin Ultra? What are you fucking poor? Come on microfiber. Mic Literally. Microfiber. What are you coming in your hand like a fucking virgin? Use a mic. Yes, I am. Hold on. <laughs> What's wrong with coming in your hand? Should I not do it? No, no, we're done. We're done with coming on your hand. You know why? We're done because we got fucking microfiber towels embroidered that says nuts and the S is the stiff socks S. What else do you need? Nothing else. Which brings me to my first question, Mr. Wallace, because you had COVID. Does it feel uh, different when you come on COVID? The nut's a little slower. Well. The nut is a little slower. He's a little winded. He's like, you ever, you ever been like, Nah, fuck the elevator. It's taking too long. I'm going to take the stairs. Correct. Always a bad decision. And you get to the top, and you're like, I should have just taken the elevator. That's what the nut's doing. Because my nut is used to just sitting on the couch being like, we got to do what? Huh? Were you horny at all? Oh, my God. 
<laughs> the horniest I've ever been. Really? To the point where I had a bag of Starbucks coffee beans unblended up, and I just like walked by and just kind of gave it up. <laughs> just to fucking, just to feel something, man. You, you slapped coffee beans on the ass. Is yeah. Is that what you did? Okay. That's what I did. Little fucking mocha latte, baby. Bro. Dude, it's just hard because I'm, I'm You're fucking hard. horned up. Yep. I'm hard. Everybody's hard. Yep. And all you, and plus I live alone now. I, I can't talk about my feelings. I'm just here horny. What am I going to do? Play Call of Duty? You ever play Call of Duty horny? You die every time. No, I'm like, I've Let's never played. Go. Never, die, die, die. I've never played Call of Duty, man. Well, don't do it. Actually do it. It's pretty fun. But don't do it when you're horny because you just, you, you stop caring about the game. You're like, oh, what am I going to worry about getting a headshot so I can get a UAV? I have a full nut. Here, Where can I drop that enemy UAV off? On the office ground and you don't clean it up. America. Hold it. America. You came on the office ground? Oh, no, not this office. I'll tell My you what, office. though. I, oh, okay. My little baby office, the one that I use a butter knife to get cum off of, episode 38, whatever the fuck that was. I love how that wasn't a reflecting moment in your life where you're like, there's something wrong here. It was. That's why I brought it up. It was such a moment in my life where I was like, hold on, dude. I zoomed out and I was like, I'm a full grown man using a butter knife to get dried semen off the yeah. wood floor of an office where I'm supposed to do work. Could have been worse. Could have had to use a spork. That's a sad moment to use a spork in anything that's not food. Here's a question. Uh, are there metal sporks or people are like, let's not make these reusable because it's super sad to use a spork. Uh, that is a great question. Probably. I think, probably yeah, I think you can somewhere. go to probably Bed Bath & Beyond and grab one. Also, I'd like to bring up this fact. Everyone, there was a lot of comments last episode that was like, oh, I didn't know Michael was missing, missing a tooth. I wasn't until I went to the fucking dentist and they tried to do an impression on my mouth because I needed to get uh, the input. What do you mean an impression? Hold on. This is my impression of Michael's mouth. Give it to me. Ha. <laughs> that was it. That's pretty good. Just a... Uh, what about this? I, I, eat an ass. There you go. There you go. That's better. What about this? You know, I wanted to eat some raunchy ass with COVID just to know, because I lost my scent. Yep. I lost, I lost taste all buds? taste. Yep. What would ass taste like? It would just taste like what? Beef jerky? Pickles. No? Uh, pickles got bumps. Pickles do Are got bumps. ass with bumps? Uh, well, well, let me ask you this. Okay. Do cucumbers have bumps? Yes. Do they? On the outside, some do. Huh. Some. I thought cucumbers were smooth, and that's when I was like, well, when the fuck do pickles get bumps? Is that how you know they're ready? Uh, let me ask you this, though. Do you think girls that are picking out cucumbers at Trader Joe's to shove in their v v v v vaginas on OnlyFans, do you think they try to find older ones with bumps because they're like, oh, I'm about to come faster? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're going to put a few potholes in that road? You're going to add a few speed bumps? Yes. Yes. Think I want to just go down a fucking driveway? No, I need some adrenaline in my life. Does it feel good to just disrespect a speed bump? Because it does for me. When it goes slow down, great. speed bump, children at play. Fuck your kids. How about that? How about <laughs> I'm taking that fucking speed bump, trying to goddamn well, Tokyo drift into well, my driveway? What I've noticed is a lot of cars, it's almost like the faster you drive over a speed bump, the more it just like... Like it, like it just, yeah. it helps it. It takes it. But when you go slow, it's like, dun, dun. Yeah. Yeah. When somebody goes too slow over a speed bump, I'm like, you better have cocaine to the brim on a martini glass and you don't want to spill because there's a fucking drug lord with a sniper on you. The, but the dun, dun, too slow. Uh, you know what I hate so much is when someone's lowered their car so they have to go over the speed bump really slow. Fuck you, you. Fuck you. Move out of my way. It is not my fault. Happened of, what happened? French Montana, no. he went to go valet park his Bugatti, which is like a car that's worth like half of Sacramento. <laughs> and he he went to valet it and they're like, sir, it's too low. It can't get, I think, into the, the little curb mm -hmm. of where they valet mm -hmm. it. And then he's like, ha. Well, that's my French Montana. That's not bad, not bad. Ha, that I, <laughs> my favorite French Montana line ever is he goes, ha. That ain't Kanye. Nope, that's Montana. <laughs> As opposed, he's saying it's me. Hey guys, I'm not Kanye. I'm French Montana. Also, no. In case you had any confusion, no one has ever confused the two. They look nothing alike. The talent level right. is monumentally different. No one's ever makes mistaken. Yeah. I actually have a big French Montana fan. Um, I love it. I love it. I love the, that ignorance. It's uh, great. I also really, really, thoroughly enjoy when rappers don't rhyme. 
and they deliver the line as if they did rhyme. Ooh, that rhymes. Um, but they didn't rhyme. That's my favorite. That's what I'm saying. He's just like, oh, like what in what bar does that? That ain't Kanye. Nope, Montana. And he wrote that down and he goes, fire. And I'm surprised the yeah. producer wasn't like, uh, excuse me, Mr. French doesn't rhyme. He was. He went like this, and then when he raised his hand, he remembered how much the direct deposit was going to be for right. mixing one song. Yep. He's like, oh, I was just letting you know how good that was. That was uh, fire. I was, I was raising my hand for that. Where's Montana? Is he from Montana, or is that actually his last name? Fr French. I don't know. I, I, I'm always underwhelmed when rappers finally say where they got their name from. Like, they got a crazy-ass name, like astronaut forehead rifle, and you're like, yo, bro, what is the meaning behind that? And he's like, I want to be an astronaut. Somebody said I got a big forehead and that's a rifle. And you're like, yeah, but why are those together? Is this a password? And he goes, oh, fuck. How you know my password? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. It's like every, I've never been like, wow, that's a great name. It's always like, I put my name in a rap generator and here I am. Yeah, or like my aunt used to call me that. Well, what? You can come up with anything. Your name is Reptile Face because your aunt used to call you that. First of all, your aunt's an asshole for calling you Reptile Face. Right. That's very mean, sir. You could also lie, you know, because yep. your aunt, if you say something about like, oh, my grandma used to call me that, it's like, I get that, but you're rapping about literally killing people. Like, my gram gram gave it to me. Did she give you a felony and, and a murder case too? <laughs> my gram gram. God damn. Boo doop boop. Hope you're enjoying this episode. I don't know why I made a boo doop boop, but here we are. Our first ad of the day is brought to you by Talkspace. All right. And what Talkspace is, it's a uh, counselor for you, somebody to talk to at any given moment of time. Because look, this has been a lot of shit, whether it's been the pandemic on your mind. I know that's caused me the most goddamn anxiety because I can't yeah. do, I don't know, half my career, the election. You know, it was just a stressful side for a lot of different people, no matter what side of the party you were on. So if you want to get help and you need help immediately, trust me, Michael and I both use programs like this to get help. Use Talkspace. Fuck, I almost fell out of my chair. Guys, you know, uh, again, you've heard me say this a bunch on this podcast. I'm a huge proponent of therapy. I've been in therapy for the good majority of my life. And I really think it's a thing that helps me create balance in my life. And it honestly just creates, um, it creates happiness. The healing process that you go to with the therapist, it just generates, uh, you know, social skills and self-awareness and a, a skill set and to be able to, live your life and be able to handle problems with not only yourself, but also the other relationships. So I think this Talkspace is an incredible, incredible tool that you can use. Um, and Talkspace is on a mission to make therapy affordable and accessible for all, because we all need extra support to feel our best. Talkspace has thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialists, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more. No matter what, Talkspace will find you the perfect therapist for your goals. The bottom line is that we all need someone to talk to. I know I do, I know Trevor does, I know Gabe does. Talkspace wants to give us the support we deserve at a price we can afford. And since you're a loyal Stiff Socks listener, we got you hooked up. It's holiday season, you're already spending money, so we're gonna save you $100 Ooh. of your first month's use with Talkspace. All you gotta do is go to Talkspace.com yep. and use promo code SOCKS, Talkspace.com, promo code SOCKS. That's one more time, SOCKS. God damn. I would just like to get back, ladies and gentlemen, to the fact that everyone was shaming me because I didn't have a tooth, okay? I didn't tell you guys the story because I kept, I kept forgetting, okay? But I'll let you guys know what happened to my tooth to stop shaming me, okay? I have four tooth implants, okay, in my mother effing mouth. And one of them was loose, so I had to go to the dentist. And the dentist was like, yo, we're going to have to take that out because it's a bad implant. Your bone is rejecting the root, which I didn't even know is a goddamn thing, but apparently your bone can be like, ah, we don't like this anymore after 10 years and just leave the root, okay? So they had to take a little impression, which is like sticky shit. And they had to put it up there to get the impression because they have to make me a fake tooth when the other one, they, when they took the other one out. But they fucked up, they made it too sticky and then my goddamn, they ripped my tooth out with the sticky shit. So now, your boy don't got a goddamn tooth. But I will say, I will tell you guys what I do have and it's called a motherfucking flipper, Okay, you guys know they have a flip. Uh, yep, it's a flipper. It's a fake tooth that you can take out. And all you guys are like, oh man, I wonder what it looks like. I'll show you. Oh, are you one of those ah, people? Ah, I can't get it out. Ah, it's stuck. This is awkward. No, it's not. It's pretty awkward. No, no, no. 
Especially for the audio people who are just driving on a freeway right now. It sounds like some guy's fucking getting blown by an alligator. <laughs> 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 I can't. While you work on I your fucking I fraudulent tooth, I can't take it out. Go what ahead. is it? It's it's, a, it's, it's like a, a. It's stuck. Is it like a peg leg? Why do pirates have peg legs? So funny to me. Just hop. <laughs> just hop. I just like. I feel like there's got to be something better, like a Swiffer handle. <laughs> have they updated it? No. No. It's just. A peg leg. Yo, isn't it funny that if you get trouble on the, get in trouble on the high seas to this day, you're considered a pirate? Gabe, yeah. look that up, please. I think that's right. Isn't it so funny? I also find it wild that you just walk the plank. Let me let me do a cannonball. Can I cannonball the plank? I can't get this you out. You have to walk it. What? Did you put it in there yourself? Yeah. I literally can't get it out. Well, Hold on. Can, uh, can we? As much, no, no, I, this is fun. No, no, no. I like watching this. Ah! <laughs> What? I can't. I is can't. this holding a bit? What is, is he not really missing a tooth? This is a bit. No, 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 no. This is a bit. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Let's talk about hornier topics. So somebody wrote in and this guy wanted to, we asked the question, had anybody's uh, banged during a Zoom class? Okay. Right? Yep. This guy wrote in while well, Michael's finger banging his <laughs> mouth. This guy wrote in, and, and this is what he said verbatim, just wanted to write in and say, I have in fact banged my girlfriend while she was in a Zoom class for college. Also, she had her mic muted, but kept her video on and we were off frame the whole time. Keep doing what you're doing. Love the pod, you're killing it. Thank you, uh, Gabe. Gabe wrote that in, wow, Gabe's fuck. Oh shit. But that's funny, turn the mic off. So people are just like, look at Rebecca, just watch, she just left to go get orange juice. Yeah, she's getting some pulp somewhere else. Oh shit! See, extra. I would nut, I would nut in the frame. Have to, I, have to. I don't know Let what else you across. would do. Shooting star. Yeah, you at least got to hit the the computer. Could you imagine nutting like at an angle, but it hits the camera on the laptop? Rebecca, your screen's dirty. <laughs> you good? You good to go? Dude, I'm great. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I literally couldn't get it out, but I got it out. And uh, look at it. Fuck you guys. I have a tooth. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I love you guys. The uh, the tooth fairy. Weird or not? What are, what are your thoughts? Any of that? Uh, any, put it under your put it under your pillow. Any of that little kid stuff is very is just like so odd. Like it makes so much sense as a little kid. You're like, oh cool, a fairy, a fairy comes in your room, takes your tooth. First of all, why does it want the tooth? What is it doing with the tooth? And it, where does it go? And it leaves you money. Do you get a fucking free ticket to Six Flags like a Coke can? I would. Oh, that was a good. That was a good moment of history. Yeah, yeah. When you walked up there, you're like, "There's no way this works," and then you bring him the Coke can, and it works. You're like, "How bad do you need us here?" Just uh, my garbage gets me to ride Goliath. Just uh, I don't know can? roller coasters. I think that were you a big I, roller coaster guy. I up? fucking love roller coasters. You hate I them, can, right? I'm okay with them. I don't like the flips, but anyone where you don't do the flip, I'm fine with. I, like I like the Superman shit where you go up and then you fly back Oof. down. Where like where do you like your balls just like leave for a second? They're just like yeah, I think we're done here, and they just go away. What is that feeling? Does you, does your body are like oh fuck we fit in to die? I think they're just kind of floating after a certain point. Um. Also, can we just really get back to this uh, Zoom call? Them fucking on the Zoom call, whatever during class, whatever. I would like to know what class it was for them to get so horny. It doesn't matter, Michael, because they were in college, so they're horny all the time. Do you remember being in college yeah. and just being horny? Like I'm horny now, but I can't. Like as an 18 year old man. Dude, I, I would make pasta and I'd be like, oh God, it's so al dente. Fuck it. Like I would just come. Yeah. I lived in a frat house with 50 other dudes. You know what it smelled like in there? Desperate. It's just horny. You open the halls at 2 a.m. On, on a Saturday morning and you got the guys that are just, they're, they're not even like people anymore. They're just looking around the halls being like, horny, horny, need not horny. And it's just like, Every time you see one of your homies get a chick, it just adds to the stress level. And that's why in college you're like, oh, fuck anything, dude. And then you wake up the next morning and you're fucking balls deep in peach cobbler. You know, you're just whatever we'll put out. Yeah, you turn over, you're like, who is that? And then she goes, this me. And you're like, why do you, why? Why you're, I think I'm a sea monster. But yeah, but also you're trying to go to this tailgate or not, okay? Dude, I know. Dude, 
there was a, a many times where I'd look over and be like, oh, that's not my favorite uh, lady that I've ever done. But like, you, the 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 you had plans and she knew you had plans. So it's just like you kind of made drunken plans that night. So you have to still go to the tailgate. You have to still go. Right. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. You make yeah. drunk plans. Did you and still? Like, you said you're gonna leave at like ten. You might have had to come with you. Yeah. Totally. God, yeah. Could we? <laughs> the higher pitch your voice is, the more bullshit you are. Uh-huh. Just like, yeah, go through. Yeah. Do you mind if yeah. we stay in the shadows? Is that fine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Boy, man. Oh, college. what class though? Ooh. What class you think they were fucking on? Social studies? Well, I think it was either a horny class or it's like, what class is so boring where you're like, trying to fuck? But, or it's like an easy class where you're like, oh, I, I know how to do long division. Let me show you this other long dick. Oh, oh dude, I, I, took a, I, I took bowling in college. How do you do Zoom bowling? How do you do that? <laughs> you break a laptop very quickly. <laughs> You pull into the camera and the guy's just looking. He's like, good form. I took badminton in college. No, he didn't. No, he I didn't. Badminton. What's worse? It was a badminton, fire class. Ba- badminton or, uh, or bowling? What's worse? Badminton. Bowling. No. Bowling. Badminton. Uh, badminton. Badminton. Go. Yeah, well, yeah. Badminton's like, oh, look at this guy. He likes to hit little fucking floaty things in the air. And he probably has money and he has a Maserati that he sleeps on every night. Bowling. So like, I care. Oh, roll 300. Look at my fingers. They're all strong. Guess what I could do to this nine pound ball? I could do to this fucking cooch. Yeah, exactly. Think about what you just said. What's, I got nothing. What's, what's better? Me putting those fucking fingers in and showing women how much I can fist these fucking eight pound balls? Or, Hold up. or this. Ew. Oh, look. It's, I don't know. it's I, called a birdie. It's called a birdie. Change the dude, name. It was, yeah, but like it was nice because I had it in the middle of the day so I wouldn't be like all sweaty. Okay. But there was kids in that class who took that shit serious. I love badminton. I love it. It was fun. But like, I knew one other guy in the class. He was also my fraternity. So I was like, oh, this will be fun. We'll be boys. And like me and this guy, Rob, we're like playing. And then this one dude like steps up and he's like dripping in sweat. I'm like, the class started four minutes ago. How are you looking like a fucking mop bucket? I warmed up. He says, what the, what the, what the, ba, ba. And he's like slamming him in my face. And then I got to make a game time decision. There's a slightly attractive hot girl who mm-hmm. walks by this classroom every day. Am I going to be, am I going to be like, what if she sees me acting like a bitch? So I'm getting into it. Fucking bah, bah, bah. It's just a hard game to get mad about when you fuck up. Have you ever seen someone uh, that's really good at ping pong? It's a yeah. different game. Like the way that we play ping pong, it's like, hey, back and forth, back and forth. The way that yeah. like professionals play ping pong, it literally looks like tennis. Like a it looks re- like they're trying to kill. Well, also, Dark. look at how far back they stand I in like the Olympic of tennis or whatever. Dude, they stand literally like they're social distancing the fucking table. They're like, hey, not too close. They're so far back. And it's like, oh, and the, and the, the and the wind-ups and the spin. spin. Fuck. Oh, my God. Dude, it's impressive. Those guys get fucking puss, dude. That is funny. That is funny that those type of sports, yeah. like, there are women who fuck professional bowlers and like will go out of their way to drive to Nashville, Tennessee to see how good they could finger their balls. Like they drive there for yeah. bowling ass. They drive there for fucking for table tennis ass. There are table tennis whores. Yeah. Crazy. No matter what it is, no matter what it is, whether it's like uh, like a real sport or like a side sport or a group or a meeting, there's always an alpha. There's a top dog who leads and like either the guys or the girls are like, I'm so into this person and they just crush whatever it may be, you know, Frisbee golf, some dude yep. like lays pipe. This guy has half a mil on Instagram cause he's that dude. And his DMs are like, I wish you could just finger golf me. And he's like, that's not even <laughs> close, but sure. Dude, shut you up. Wanna stand, yeah, stand a hundred yards away and I'll just fucking flick it in there. Dude, some girl messaged me on Bumble recently she just messaged me her phone number and says, you look like you could fuck, period. What type of just no nonsense message is that? There's no, I love it. There's no fat on that message at all. It is just right to the motherfucking point. Number, period. You look like you could fuck, period. Send. Dog, could you imagine if I sent that to a girl? Jail. Right to jail. What did you send back? Nothing. You don't look like you could fuck. And then just a helpline. <laughs> I didn't say anything back. That's too aggressive. Anytime a, anytime a lady towards me is too aggressive, I don't like it. So I'm like, this seems like a setup. You're in the FBI. What's going on? 
I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. Because that'll that'll trap a dude real quick. Yeah. Dude's like, yo, I do I do fuck. I'm a virgin, but like I could picture myself fucking. Yeah, you don't even know how dude, yeah. And then all of a sudden the next message is what's your cash app? And you're like, all right, well, this is fucking garbage. God damn. God, Akon is so good. So good. Speaking of Akon, you know it's better than Akon? What? Raycons. It is. Buddy, let me tell you something about Raycons, okay? Tell Today, me. Today you can save big on a gift that'll use every day Raycon wireless earbuds. Let me tell you something. We don't talk about nothing that we don't use ourselves and we fucking love. I these Raycons are noise canceling. The bass is crazy. Um and all these other uh, premium earbuds are like, oh, we're so expensive. These aren't. They give you the same premium sound as these other premium earbuds, but the cost is way less. Um, I love them. I use them on airplanes when we could get on airplanes. And it uh, noise canceled all the kids, all the stewardess that are like, hey, do you want a cookie? No, I don't want a cookie. I'm asleep. Okay. I want this plane to land without the little less turbulence. Yes. Tell the pilot, all right? He's interrupting my two chains listening session, which sounds amazing on these headphones the bass honestly on them yeah not even bullshitting i put them in and i was like fuck i can't wait to take an edible and put these bad boys in <laughs> they fucking slap dude but like michael said great noise canceling they have forty five thousand leaf blowers in this neighborhood for whatever the fucking reason whether it's a plane or working at home or just going on a jog or just zoning the out when you're off a little bit of weed they're legit. Yo, so this holiday season, get them something they can use for calls or music or for work or for play at home or on the go. We're all doing Zoom calls. We're all listening to more music because of the goddamn pandemic. And it's the holiday season. So go out there and go to buyraycon.com slash socks today to get 20% off your Raycon order. But hurry, this offer is available for a limited time only and you don't want to miss it. That's buyraycon.com dot com slash socks to get 20% off your Raycons. Buy Raycon dot com slash socks up. God damn. Have you ever got catfished? Mm, uh, what's like a halfway? Cat? I got catted. Catted, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I went to a bar and I walked right past the girl. Oh, you did tell me this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was awkward. Yes. Because... I walked in, I was like, I wonder who that girl is standing by herself. That was my date. And then she's like, I think you just walked past me. And I was like, ah, oh, it's so dim in here. Ha ha. It was like, <sighs> it was wild. Um, I, I, But like, she was still hot, but it was just, I don't know. Filters. Filters. Also, but you don't do, you seem like a guy who would do internet reconnaissance. Like What the fuck is reconnaissance? Uh, like research. research yeah. No, I did, but like, she, like what I've noticed is a lot of girls, you know, where we go to get our extra layer of who is this person, you hit the tag photos. You can turn your tag photos off. So she got her tag photos off. And the only picture she was posting would be like one every couple of months, but like her Instagram story was active, but it was never really selfies. It'd be like brunch, cats, car accident. <laughs> so... I, I don't know why people take pictures at car accidents. It's wild to me. Content. The the new taken picture of a car accident, the new one is showing people your COVID test. I don't know why people record their COVID Stop tests. Stop it. Because there's no, we already know what it looks like. You shove it in your nose and you take it yeah. out and people goes, oh, my nose, oh, sneeze, sneeze. But we get it. Who's watching that be like, no, no way. Brock's getting a COVID test. Let's see if he sneezes. Ah. Ah, it's like why also i don't get why people are posting their like negative results like sure like and if you're trying to fuck and like let girls know like look at me i'm negative i get that but like the people who don't like the random guy you went to middle school with who now is like he's an engineer posting his negative results yeah we know that you don't do anything right um also i feel like it's just kind of fucked up to the people who are positive like, hey, yeah. look, I ain't dead. Fuck you. It's like, I've Jesus. also haven't seen anybody post their positives. That would be. Nobody. That's funny. That's, that's what you That's really do. funny. Yes. You post it and say, who trying to link? Devil face emoji, positive. Eggplant And then a wet. girl who's also positive will be like, me. Let's fucking just get these viruses flowing. Dude, blah, I blah, think blah, blah. there's a, uh, Gabe, can you look this up? I think there's a, 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 an, like a dating app for people with STDs. 
Like I think like people uh, with like I believe there is. the herp scurps. definitely is actually. The herp scurps be like, yo, sick. So we all got the herp scurps in this. I think that's a great idea because dude, there's nothing worse than like every time you meet somebody new, you have to tell them that you have something. Bro. Like it sucks because, you know, as, as a girl or something who has it and you have to tell a guy, it's normal for you. But every time now this guy who, you know, you had feelings for is now like, what the fuck? Blah, 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 blah. And you're like, this is what I put up with every time. So the fact that there is an app for, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta, that's, that's a quick question. What you got hurt? Cool. Get in here. I'll add another one to the boat. You ever had a chlamydia? Then you high five over Belgian waffles. Yeah, it's Yo, called first Positive of all, Singles. Better name. I, I, a better name. What about just hurt burps? What about that? What about I got bumps.com? Well, the, the thing is, is like, if you get a notification on your phone and somebody sees you in public, somebody's like, what is positive singles? They're going to put a few things together. Yeah. Make it fun. You know, love burns. Love hurts. Love hurts is I like because anything that relates to um, your positive test results, I think it's kind of fucked up. I like like love hurts or like just like hey we can well, still I, fuck dot org <laughs> hey we can still <laughs> fuck is hilarious <laughs> title <laughs> it should literally just be called hey dot dot, dot. we, we can, can still, still fuck. fuck right their advertisements would just be so funny it would just be like a guy on a billboard and he's just like <laughs> yeah um have you ever uh rolled the dice on a herp burp when uh when it was positive and she was like listen i'm positive and you went in your head you're like well I guess I'm fucking playing blackjack tonight. <laughs> ah, snake eyes. Like, you busted. Fuck. All right. Listen, I'm asking because I have. Okay. You have? Yeah. But there's so there's a there's a little bit more context that that I think people would understand a little bit more. It's not a good decision that I made, but people understand a little bit more. So no names obviously but uh someone that i was in relationships with a while ago in college um she got it when we weren't together anymore and then i visited my school again um and she hit me up she's like hey we should like meet up blah blah, blah. and i thought it was just like to just kick it and just say what's up because we haven't talked in a while so we meet up at a cracker barrel got some food hold up why are you looking at me like that you thought a girl, hold up. Ah. You thought it was just to meet up and be like, hey, you see the Dow Jones is up? Like, <laughs> you, you had zero expectations of maybe popping a nut. Well, I don't know. She, it, well, it's, at this it's point, been, did you know that she had something? Yes, yeah, she told me. Okay, so you met at a Cracker Barrel. Yeah, so we met at a Cracker Barrel. We got some food. You ever eat a Cracker Barrel? No, I, I had a family growing up. Well, I didn't. So that's really nice of you to tell me. Anyways. We got new merch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've never been to a Cracker Barrel, but they just put one in in my hometown, and I want to check it you gotta out. You got to go. It's phenomenal. I want, you want to go with me? Yes. All right. Let's go. You're, merch. You're, neg you're negative, so let's do it. I don't have COVID anymore. Let's fucking go. Um, yeah, so cool. I meet up with So this you meet up at Cracker Barrel. At Cracker Barrel. So I already knew she had the hurt burp, skirt burps, right? And so we mm -hmm. meet up, and uh, we had a nice dinner, and everything was uh, crackle bearing it off. And sorry, take that out, Gabe. Um, but <laughs> Definitely leave it in. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we were getting along. And uh, I was like, where are you staying? Because we were like sort of like, like 35, 40 minutes outside of where um, I was staying. And what? You drove 35 minutes to go to a Cracker Barrel? Yeah, because she was, I, I don't know. I thought she was on a work trip, dude. I didn't ask so many questions. I was like fucking 20. I didn't have, like, I didn't have the social yeah. skills to just ask questions. Like, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, so she told me that she's staying at a fucking Marriott across the street. All right, fine. So we go over there and we go into- well, What did you think was going to happen? Dude, at that point, I was like, all right, I can't be an asshole and be like, no, peace, fuck you. I'm not going to come back to your hotel room because she said she just wanted to talk, whatever, whatever. Obviously not. So I went back there and then she, she sort of like tried to make out with me and I was kind of like res reticent a little bit to like make out. Um, so I was like kind of look a little weird. And then she's like, why, what's wrong? And I didn't say anything. And then she just assumed that I, it, it wasn't even about the, um, her STD. It was just about like, I didn't want to like make out with her cause I didn't want to like lead her on. Cause I knew that there was nothing going to come of this. Um, but she took it as I thought there, she, she took it as like, I was right. like pushing her away because of the STD. And that wasn't the case at all. And then she started like crying, like hysterically crying. And at that time, 
I have no social skills. I don't know how to handle it, dude. Like, I was raised by women, so when women cry, I go, uh, what do you need? I'll give you my computer. Do you want my, the bank password? Take all my money. I don't, like, I couldn't handle it. Yeah. So she starts crying, and then, she, and then to prove to her that it wasn't about that, their boy went through with it. Fuck! <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting transition. She's crying. You're like, no, 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 no. I promise it's not because... I know. You got something burning down there. Here, watch. I'll fucking... It, yeah. la, 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 no, 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 no. No. I didn't do it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, but there is a big misconception on herpes that how it's transferred. It's a lot harder for guys to get yes. it than girls. It's very... And yeah. for the most part, it's only when it's active correct correct yeah and i mean the, and she told me that she was on whatever the uh whatever she was told me on the on the pills or whatever that like makes the outbreaks outbreaks less and it's like really hard to like get it even if you have an outbreak as a man blah blah blah, blah. so she went through that whole like rigmarole and i just like it was just a to me it was a funny situation because i literally did it to prove to her that it wasn't about that so like i put myself at like risk to like, yeah. yeah, to prove that I wasn't like an asshole. I don't know, um, but uh, but yeah, I remember leaving that, leaving the hotel room, and for like, t dude, I mean, the next the next year, I thought about it like every day. I got like tested like multiple times. I just was like, um, yeah, it was yeah, like fucking yeah. It was a uh, not. Did you go in? Rah. No, yes. no, 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 no. I would tell you all if I didn't. It was I did not. I did not. Yeah. I did not. Um, so much so that we had to go down to the lobby uh, and grab condoms because I didn't bring any because I didn't think we were going to fuck. I thought we were just going to have Cracker Barrel and share some bread and a fucking bread bowl and, and then just have some pasta and say goodbye. Our relationship was great in college. I didn't think we were just going to go down to the dark side. Something about Cracker Barrel, man, just gets people riled up in their below parts. Dude, when I have pasta, I get hard. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> when you have pasta something about carbs man something about carbs is it carbs in general or pasta pasta More makes so pasta. sense because it, it's kind of got that wet glisten and it's just yeah. like when you when you dump it from the strainer onto the plate and it's just like i see you looking at me yeah look how al dente i am but i don't know there's something about it but every time i go to like an italian restaurant like on a date or whatever you know like usually people are like oh i'm so full i can't fuck i'm just like let <laughs> Let's go. I don't know what it is. The gluten or something? I don't know. I'll give you some carbonara. God damn it. Fuck. Fuck. Ugh. You want some of this tomato sauce? Ugh, Alfredo. Um, Jesus, man. That's uh, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, speaking of horny, this podcast, <laughs> uh, did you see that uh, Pope Francis mm. liked this girl, Nat Natalia... I'm not even speaking of Italian. I can't. I don't know how to say that. This is the point. Garabato. This is when I would point to the menu at the restaurant and go, "This one." Yeah, it's uh, it's pronounced Natalie Pasta Primavera. <laughs> uh, but bro, she called up bad. Natalie. God, I don't know how to spell. Natalie. What's her last name? Carbonara. Garbat. <laughs> G A. Um. Yeah. Jersey Mike's. Gar <laughs> Garabato. Natalia Garabato. Natalia, bro. I don't know how to spell. Oh, I think I just found it. <laughs> yeah, probably not hard. Nata I can't. Fuck. Oh, how wait. do you how do you spell Natalia, bro? I I'm oh, not it's lying. A fan page. Oh shit. N A. Gabriel, help me. Oh, she got two point five on the gram. Oh, and she's sponsored by Bang Energy, of course. If you are a hot woman, is Bang Energy just staring out on the hills with binoculars, being like, one day you will sponsor an energy drink? I first of all the answer to that is yes. The second the second uh level of that to me is I feel like they're getting paid like 26 bucks. I don't think I don't It's not good. It's not Dude, good. Dude, they they reached out after I made the bang video which one of my faves. They offered me a deal for they wanted a video every week. Every week they wanted a video on my Instagram for a thousand dollars, which a thousand dollars is not that it's not cheap, a thousand dollars, but when you're posting every week, you're killing your Instagram. All my posts would be bang energy. That's not good money at all to kill off your whole internet presence to be a quote unquote sellout. I agree, but I can't really formulate a sentence around it because I'm looking at Natalie Pasta Primavera's Instagram. What? In the thick 
crescent roll is this? We well, don't like it? No, I'm in. But she looks like a crescent roll. I fucking love crescent rolls. Oh, I love Wait, crescent, crescent rolls. or croissant? Aren't they pronounced crescent rolls? Like the but Pil- is that the same thing? The Pillsbury thing. Yeah, I think we figured out that it was it's both last time. Oh, oh okay. first of all, you fucking douche. It's <laughs> cock. It's cock. It's not colk. You know how I many fucking dudes who do real jobs hit me up and they're like, yeah, it's fucking cock, not colk. It's cock. You walk into Home Depot and you say, where's the cock? They're not going to point to your fucking Levi's. <laughs> they're going to point to an aisle. Yeah. No. And then in the aisle, is there a guy with his dick out? And he goes, cock? <laughs> you go- how is that? Dude, as dumb as internet pranks are getting these days, how is that not a thing where they just go into Home Depot and be like, can I get some cock? And then some guy just gets pounded out in aisle three. <laughs> <laughs> or or you go to aisle seven and it's just a bunch of roosters fighting. Yeah. Do you want one of these guys? Listen. Yeah, the word cock, very versatile. I, no, I still to this day will not get on board with it's pronounced cock. You don't say cock. Yeah, I think you pronounce it both ways is where I'm going to stay. All right. Nah. Nope. Both ways. Uh-huh. It's cock no. and cock. Anyways, speaking of All cock. Right guys, new video on Monday. We're showing up to a construction site. I asked for cock. Michael asked for cock. Yep. <laughs> Who gets fucked? I think both of us, because I get fucked because it's not pronounced right. You get fucked because they they want they thought you asked for cock. All right. Anyways, back to cock. Listen, if I was Pope Francis, I'm liking this girl's picture. Holy fuck! Yeah, I would give up the Lord for this girl. You see her feet? Oh my god! What? The amount of comments on here are just hilarious. The Pope be like, "Amen." <laughs> the Pope. There's all the comments about the Pope. First of all, why is the Pope just scrolling on Instagram? I don't think the Pope runs his account. Is what is what I think. You thought it was just some horny ass intern? Yeah, it's some horny ass. Hold on, I guess they liked it not knowing that they were on the Pope's account. They thought that they were on their account. Like that makes the most logical sense, right? Yeah, but I feel like you know when you're on the Pope's account, right? Because you go to the timeline, it's just a bunch of little kids on who you're following. Okay, what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm Jewish. Is that the Pope who did that? <laughs> it's the whole Catholic faith. Guys, we're just joking. No, we're not. Dave and Busters. All right, listen. <laughs> so the CNN article about this is really funny because it's like the Vatican is taking this very seriously. They say, we are in touch with Instagram to find out what happened. The issue is currently being investigated in close contact with the Holy See. As if it's not just like someone double tapped a photo. As if it's like a grand right. conspiracy, you know? Well, yeah, maybe like it got hacked and uh no it i my favorite thing is my instagram got hacked okay pause no it didn't no it didn't <laughs> whatever you did whatever your account did you did you liar oh i followed yeah. this girl i followed this girl and i fucking dm'd her my account got hacked no it didn't you were trying to bang you were trying to bring that bang that crescent roll whoever runs that account liked the photo because who wouldn't like that photo yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's just, it's wild to me that the Pope is even, that's just such a f- wild sense. The Pope liked an Instagram girl's picture on Instagram. That's not, I don't want to know that the Pope is horny. I'm Jewish, so I don't need, I, like, I don't, that'd be like if I found out like a rabbi was DMing a girl, being like, yo, you trying to fuck? You're like, that better be an acronym for, <laughs> oh, that's, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna- Friday, <laughs> underneath. <laughs> Holla. You're going to get it. You'll get it. You got it. Come on down. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but like, it's just weird knowing that people of a higher status who quote unquote have these, the people look up to get horny. I don't need to know that. I don't need to know my idols get horny. I don't want to know that Adam Sandler gets horny. He gets so horny. Do you, have you seen his movies? <laughs> It's all horny. Yeah, he's like, hey, Jennifer, trying to make out? Well, don't you have a wife? Get over here. All right. Yeah, horny. Uh, real quick, does does the uh, the Jewish faith have like their pope? I don't know too much about like the ins and outs. Of- I think it's Lil Dicky. Hold on. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> Little Dicky did like that photo because he would definitely like that photo. Oh, shit. Isn't it just, I just think it's so funny to just be someone on Instagram that you're like, why do people follow you? I'll tell you. They want to fuck. No one else yeah. fuck. Like, it's like you look at 2.5 million people 
Six percent of those people are like women that are like, oh, inspiration, go girl. And the other whatever percent, I'm so bad at math, is just dudes being like, I want to look at that while I'm on my lunch plark. Show me 40% of the areola. Let me get that serotonin going. Dude. <clears throat> and it sucks because that's why people go to that page. And the second you do anything outside of that, people get mad. If you only post thirst traps and then you go to post something about voting, they're like, shut the fuck up and stay in your lane. Same thing with me. People come to my page to laugh. And the second I post anything outside of that, they're like, oh, stick to comedy. You're like, I told people that Pop-Tarts were just okay. And they're like, you shut the fuck up, comedy boy. What do you know about life? It is interesting, but it sort of makes sense though, right? Because if you if you go on like a channel on TV expecting, yeah. if you go on like ESPN, right? And all of a sudden there's a political debate. You're like, what? What's uh? I, yeah. I, I this is for football. This is for football and basketball. Mm -hmm. and, and tell me what happened with John Stockton's son. Um, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of what I signed up for to be like. This is a comedy Instagram. The second yeah. I'm like, well, guys, today marks three years of me doing comedy. Here's the picture of me on stage, fucking nine years ago. Like, shut up. Where's a make fucking drinks? Yeah, drink videos, you bitch. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, God. I think it is yeah, funny that know. people get mad at you. Um, for your sometimes for your content when your content is free, that's what's the funniest thing. It's like you're getting it for free. Shut the fuck up. Free, free, free. A free, R E E, free, free. Let me ask you this. But Trevor. then they'll be like, "Well, I paid for the Wi-Fi." Uh, your parents do. Well, true. Let me ask you this: When yes, you sir. looked at Natalie Pasta Primavera, mm -hmm. is that your type of woman? Because she looks like a what. linebacker. Well, let's just say I'm a quarterback <laughs> waiting to get sacked, motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> I would let her. What? How do I say okay. this? <laughs> Beat me until I look like Harvey Dent. All right. She could shotgun a fucking can of cream mashed potatoes at my forehead. I wouldn't care. I would. That type of woman is, is, uh, it's just, it's almost like when you see a Jaguar, you're like, oh, it's exotic. I mean, not yeah. Los Angeles because they're everywhere out here, but like it catches your eye. I, now I, I couldn't, you know, dating somebody like that is very hard because everywhere you go, people are staring at your girl be like, yeah. yo, you can't handle that. Yeah. You cannot handle that, right? Well, the answer is- and They're just doubting you. So, you know, I, sure. Would I, back when I was single, play fucking hopscotch with her naked while taking a blue chew? Absolutely. I wouldn't let her throw a fish fillet at me. Does that make sense? I wouldn't. Are you pescatarian? Yep. I wouldn't let her wash my hands. Yes, I would. That's hilarious. Point is, she's so not my style of lady. She, she, she's an attractive woman, and I totally understand why you would be on board with that. But that doesn't really do it for me. Well, it's also like I wouldn't drive a Lamborghini Huracan right. for my day-to-day -day car. But if my friend let me borrow it for a day, yeah, I'd do it. You know what? I love that. That's exactly how I feel. Would I do that? Oh yeah. But I wouldn't. Yeah. But I wouldn't put. A, I wouldn't lease it. Wouldn't no. lease it. No, no, no. I, I wouldn't fill it up with my own gas. If somebody's like, "Hey, here you go." Yeah. You know. You want to take it first out of spin? your league, but you want to feel good for a day? Here you go, bud. How long would you last if she was actually trying to make you come? Can you? Can you go negative? Yeah. 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 yeah like that. <laughs> I got to turn on the, the fucking Lambo and I'm like, the engine's broke. Not yours. Mine. Dude, I would open the Lambo door, smell the leather and just come right on my, in my joggers. Just fucking bloop. Yeah. God damn. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but Wednesday, the night before Thanksgiving is like the biggest booze holiday in the world. All right. And there's nothing worse than feeling like sure hey, 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 the day of Thanksgiving. Giving. And if you don't want to feel bad the next morning, you know what you need? Huh? DHM Detox, no baby. No Days Wasted is here to help you maximize life's moments. DHM Detox is vitamins for people who like to enjoy their drinks. Enjoy your holiday drinks this year and get back to doing what you love the next day without feeling like shit. So forget the Sunday scaries, or in this case, the Thanksgiving. Thursday. Giving 
Terry's. Okay, that know. works. Uh, just take two capsules after your first couple of drinks, and it goes to work, baby. Tens of thousands of people are using DHM Detox as their drinking buddy. DHM Detox uses science, this is a science podcast, to help boost your body's natural response to alcohol and help break down those toxins. It's the perfect stocking stuffer or gift for your friend, family, or even yourself. Remember, holiday drinking season is upon us. So stay prepared for all of the festivities. You don't have to struggle through the next day. And even better, No Days Wasted offers a risk-free purchase. Damn. So if you don't love it, they'll refund you on your first box. This is a no-brainer, all right? And we've got you guys for a very special Black Friday. Bow, 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 bow. Black Friday sale, 30% off your order and free shipping in the U.S. Just head over to nodayswasted.co slash socks. 30 and use promo code socks 30 at checkout one more time it's not dot com it's dot co that's no days wasted dot co slash socks 30 the number three zero this week only for 30 percent off and free shipping do it time to get wasted no days wasted god damn speaking of oh okay porn oh shit i texted you about this the other day oh no I oh, watched some oh. goth porn. I watched some goth porn the other day. And I'll tell you what. what? It probably wasn't as goth as the level that you like, okay. where it's so dark, the lights aren't even on. You just hear fucking noises of a gargoyle. Nothing. But this was, it was entry level goth, I think. Walk. You know, she had like, half her hair was dyed black, half it was like like white. <clears throat> and she had these little tattoos. <clears throat> and and um, yeah, I don't know, man. What, what was Did she doing? To me. What was she doing? Just regular stuff? Did she shove a crucifix in there? I think for the most part, it was kind of normal. Like she just had an appearance, but the way she got dicked down was pretty normal. You know, mm. it's not like she just fucking lit onions and surrounded herself in a sacrifice circle that I know of. I, I finished pretty quick, so I didn't get to the ending. But um, <laughs> have you have you uh, ever made it to the end of a porn? No, you feel no. you feel bad. You feel like you're like, hold up. I wasted a lot of time here. Yeah, I feel like I should write a letter to them and be like, well, we're best friends now. You're my pen pal. No, or I'll be skipping around. I'm a very skip around type guy until I see a position I Mm -hmm. like. And then I'm like, yes, boom, there. Sometimes you skip too far and you see the part where she's like, ah, getting ready to get nutted on the face. And you're like, whoa, I overshot this. I'm not ready yet. We got to go back. I'm not ready yet. I'm not, this is not M. Night Shyamalan. I don't want to see it come shot, then see him fuck. This is not Quentin Tarantino. We're here for fucking just a really, just a very fucking straight narrative. You know what I do? Straight to it. What I, when I'm ready to come, then I type in cum shot. I'm a, I'm a very, I, I puzzle piece my shit together. I don't, I don't come with the, the porn I initially got hard with. I really? puzzle See, I don't have enough, I don't have enough control. Once I start to feel it, I'll try to, you ever do that where you, you're like, okay, mm-hmm. 1303 that's when they did this that's my favorite mm-hmm. and then you're skipping around and then you're like oh i feel like i'm about to nut mm-hmm. and you're clicking around you're like, i can't find 1303 yep and then you net at 1301 when he's looking in the camera being like yeah make sure to subscribe and you're like leave me alone dude my new obsession is going to Pornhub and typing in all- oh all- hold on it's and typing in OnlyFans because the website that I like doesn't have a great OnlyFans section. Pornhub though has an amazing OnlyFans yeah, section. Yeah, you've got this outdated ZZYN, YNB, XN, NBA, X, young boy, X, and it's fire. Okay, have yeah, you even I tried it? I did once. The format was very outdated. It, it looked like there was a government official behind each video. It's so funny. I feel like Pornhub's like that too. I feel like Pornhub no. feels analog. Pornhub's to layout me. is just like. Like Disneyland for your cock. You just see the layout of Pornhub and you're like, there's so many rides I can go on. So many different routes I can take. What if I click there? What if I go there? Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's premium. Ooh, we don't have money for that. <laughs> Do you remember Isn't when they were giving premium away for free? Fuck. Feel my forearms and ask me if I remember that. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how like little inconveniences you won't spend? Like I go to a restaurant, I just want to have a good night. And they're like, yes, sir. Well, you want gluten-free pasta? It's going to be an extra $9. And I'm like, fuck it, put it on the card. And then I'm watching Pornhub and I see a thumbnail of a girl's gaping asshole. And I'm like, yo, turn up. And then you go to click it and it's like extra $1.99. You're like, oh, what am I, Jeff Bezos? No. 
Absolutely not. One ninety nine <laughs> to see a gaping stalactite asshole? No, thank you, sir. Stalactite. Yeah, there's some types. Sometimes there's stalactites in there. You don't even know, dude. Um, uh, so what were you saying? You go to Pornhub to watch the OnlyFans. To watch the OnlyFans, bro. They have such a selection there, like primo fucking content of stolen OnlyFans. It's, yeah, it's literally like the LimeWire days. You're bootlegging. Yes. What's between them legs? God, it is the hottest. Cooch leg? Huh? <laughs> Title? What? <laughs> Cooch leg, bootleg, cooch leg. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I don't have COVID. Whatever. Yo, I'm so happy you don't have COVID. It must feel so no, great. fucking good because, like, you you sort of felt like you were like a leper in society. You couldn't leave your house. You well, had, like, dude, a black I just plague. like, I was alone in my house for a week. That's not going to be good. And I just try to occupy myself with work, whether it's editing or whatever I was doing. But you just get burnt out where you're like. Dude, I have a pandemic virus inside of me. And you want me to be funny right now? No, yeah. jerk off OnlyFans. Yeah, and that's how you get into goth porn because you're like, dude, <clears throat> yeah. I really, really hope that you start getting into this so then we can have conversations on how much, just how much witchery you think this girl was into. I'm very excited, dude. I think it was entry level. I, yeah, it is. But once you do entry, then you see like a regular girl. She's like, I have blonde hair. And you're like, loser. It's boring. boring. I need blood dripping down your areolas. Give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever just watch a porn and you can just feel that they're like, I'm just doing it for the money. Yep. I need enthusiasm. I need passion. Yeah. It, the, it's night and day when somebody's like, it's kind of like stand up. You can tell when somebody's doing it because they want to be like, yeah, I want, I want money. Which if you want money, do not do stand up. There's, There's you no eat money. shit for many years. But then you watch somebody who's just incredible and they're putting in that grind and that effort and you're like, one day they're going to be big. I like that with the porn star where you're like, you don't even care. You look up some old shit and then you're like, oh, they've been at it. And then now they rise to the top. What am Bravo. I, I want somebody who wants to be like, I'm going to be something in porn. One of my favorite thing ever is to do, and I don't know if you'll super relate to this, but with I relate it to sports, right? If I see like a superstar, like a superstar, uh, uh, NBA player, right? I go, yo, let me go back to his high school highlights to see how fucking dope he was in high school. And that's what I do with porn. If I find a, if I find like a porn star, like, oh wow, she's fucking super talented. She looks like she wants to be there. a lot of motivation, a lot of passion. And I'm like, all right, let me type in blah, 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 name first porn. And then you get the fucking entry level shit. I, that's but, what I'm saying. I could scout a porn star because I can look at her eyes and be like, yo, she's going to be something, dude. That's what I'm saying. But like they're there because not only do they want to be something in the porn industry, but they also probably love sex. So they're yeah. like, I'm giving it my all. Yeah. So sometimes you're just watching porn and you're like, I just want, you know, a thousand bucks so I can take a man to Cracker Barrel, you know? So <laughs> you feel it. But I I, I, th I know what you're talking about. I did that literally with this. Oh God, I for, forget her name. Riley Reed. But, Fuck. Uh, no, but Fuck. I want to get her on the podcast. Um, if we get her on the podcast, I'm going to tell you, this is going to be me the whole show. What is that? Coming! I'm coming the whole podcast. Oh. oh, I thought you just watched like Frozen and you started crying a little bit at the no, end. No, I cry a little bit sometimes when I come. Have you ever have you ever cried and cummed? Reverse that. Have you ever cummed and cried? Is that the same thing? Come then cried or cried then come? Cried? Well, no, because it's an order thing, right? You cry and then you come or you come and then you cry. Uh, no. I've never done either, but I just wanted to that know. That sounds like you have. I would tell you. I've told this. <laughs> I've told you and everyone else to show everything. There's no way I wouldn't tell you. Gabe, have you ever cried yeah, and come or come to true. cried? No. Damn it. All right. No. Well, it's a lot of liquids. Too many. You're like, what do I clean up first? Kleenex. You got to clean and then up you use the wrong. No, but you use the wrong Kleenex. You got to wipe your face, but you just bukkake your face with a used Kleenex. You know what you could? That's got to happen before. Yes. But you know what you could use to clean up cum? Trevor, show him. Nut tail. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. It literally says nut. And yeah. then with a stiff sock, S on it. Nuts. Nuts. I mean, guys. These fire. are, I mean, name somebody else who's doing this besides I don't know, geniuses. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, guys, this is awesome. You ever like gone to a homie's house to like, borrow their towel, and you're like, "There's no way he's jerked off into this," and then you realize what men do, and you're like, "He's for sure jerked off into this." Um, 
Yeah, dude, I've used I've used so many different things to clean up cum. It's 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 outrageous. I mean, paper towels, napkins, my own socks, my own underwear. The you ever use like uh, computer paper? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the stiffest paper. It's almost like you're like shoveling it in. And the cum's like, hey, stop jabbing me. Hold up, I'm not dirt. Um, I no, I've never used printer paper. So I'm I'm assuming you have. Nah. Hold on. Yes, you have. Well, yeah. It's not, it's, it's tough. It's not good. It's like the kale of paper. You're like, I don't, give me some butter lettuce. When was the last time that you printed something out on printer paper? 40 years ago? Uh, when I had to go get new permits for my apartment, like the parking area. It was so outdated though. They're like, you need a check and uh, you need two proofs of your residency, but it has to be printed out. I showed it to him on my phone. Like, yeah, it has to be printed out. Just for them to look at the paper and go, okay. I'm like, you couldn't have just done that on the phone. I just, I, I don't, I don't get it. We need to update fucking everything. Government ran shit is the most outdated stuff in the world. Well, they, I, I can put a filter of me literally vomiting rainbows out of my mouth. I can do a filter where it looks like there's 5,000 of me, but we, we can't figure out how to do something off a phone. If I can't digitally sign something, it's not happening. Sorry, if I have to move again, <laughs> not doing it. Or I go, cool, I can't do it on DocuSign? All right, well, I'll be at my parents' house in a month. Can I do it then? <laughs> do you know anybody that has a printer, legit? I have a printer, but I haven't had ink in it since 1997. So, I, first of all, can we talk about this? Why is printer ink so expensive? Explain yourself, printer ink. What in the fuck is in there? Diamonds? I don't get it. What is is it octopus semen? Why is it so expensive? How do you jerk off an octopus? Someone tell me right now. Do you know that? Do you know when octopuses fuck, their dick comes off and goes into the woman? It swims into the woman. Is that a fact? Yes. That's insane. Wait, to me. really? Yes. They got that boomerang dick. Uh, they got that spear dick. Just goes and goes right into her. So octopuses never. Wait, it, it, go ahead. It's so like, it's like remote fucking. Yeah, it's like Bluetooth fucking. Hold up. Wait, for real? Yeah. The octopus so the, uh, penis. So when I say a dick has a mind of its own, it quite literally has a mind of its own. It is funny because what if the octopus is like, y'all want to fuck Becky, right? And so he releases it. But then your dick's like, I'm not really into Becky. How about Karen? And then your dick makes a sharp right turn and goes into Karen. And then the octopus is like, what? I'm trying to fuck Becky. Even worse, what if you're scuba diving and you're like, oh, what's that coral reef over there? Blindsided by octopus dick. And then you have an octopus kid? All right. How funny is that's really wild to me. That's so funny that like you like release your dick like you're dropping it off, uh -huh. right? Dropping it off, right? Yep. You go do that. I'll be back. Yep. I'll be back in twenty to pick you up. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you go, you go start watching the football game as an octopus. Two minutes later, your dick comes back, and he's like, oh, "I'm sorry. Like, what, what happened? I got excited, man. I ran into a motherfucking flounder. You ever <laughs> seen the gills on a flounder?" Fuck, I got nervous. <laughs> Yo, my first porn was Finding Nemo. I fucking love it. I honestly wish that humans sort of worked like octopuses because you ever run to a girl that you like her and you're sexually attracted to her, but you're like, you're just tired. You have too many peanut butter and jellies or you like went to the gym that day and she wants to fuck, but you're like kind of tired. As an octopus, you don't have to fuck. You can just shoot your dick out like a Nerf gun and it, the dick sort of just does it on its own. It'd be so incredible. Cool. I'm saying multitasking on another level. Like imagine legit dropping your dick off on your way to work and be like, I'll see you at 5 p.m. You come by, your dick's all excited to see you like, yay, Trevor's home, woo. <laughs> then it runs out, hops back on, then you go home with your dick. What happens when they jerk off? Do they jerk off? I don't think octopuses jerk off. They have too many arms. What is it's it? a funny ass visual though. It, your dick's just like slowly creeping away. Like, where are you going? Uh, downstairs. <laughs> I must say though, you have eight arms. You can hit every orifice that you want. You could choke yourself. You could jerk off with three hands and you could fist your ass. I mean, how quick would you come? That's too many things. Well, why do you think the dick fucking detaches? It's like, I gotta get out of here, yeah, man. This is or maybe they just come so hard that it just launches off. I think that's more like it. What if you nutted so hard your dick shot off? What would you do? <laughs> I'd call Guinness Book of World Records and be like, we gotta talk. I think I'd I think I got something for you. I think I'd call the hospital first. I think I'd probably call the hospital. And then, In this day and age, I'd put it on probably a boomerang and be like, what do you guys think? Yeah, video idea. TikTok, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really surprised nobody's boomerang their wife's birth yet. I, it's, it's out there. Creepy as it's hell. out there. Yeah, oh yeah, probably. What an interesting visual. You're like, honey, you got to go back. I fucked up the boomerang. I actually did like 
there's a little much of your leg in there. Hey, Doc, do you think we could put the baby back in? Is that a thing that we could do? No? All right, well, fuck me. Uh, uh, Gabe, real. Yo. Should we jump in a little more fucking sock talk? Yeah, we should. Let's do that. Sock talk. Do you love me? Did my dick shoot off? Yep. yep. Um, okay, this is, a, this is a question from Toby. Uh, McGuire. Toby. He says, are there any R&B singers out there that you definitely think that you could steal their girl? No. 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 R&B singer? Dude, every girl no. that I know of, from my personal experience, loves a, a person that could sing well. I can't defeat that with a cum joke. It's just impossible. So there's no right. way in fuck that I'm stealing Trey Songz's fucking girlfriend or whoever. Well, because I feel like these girls fall in love with the voice and then they're like, oh my God, it doesn't even matter what the guy looks Correct. like. Some of these, do, do we ever talk about some of these singers? They're, they're just very normal looking dudes. Ed Sheeran, normal looking dude. Uh, normal and, looking guy. That's yeah, not a normal what? looking dude. <laughs> That's not a normal looking dude. That's a normal looking dude if you got fucking smashed in the face with a field hockey stick. That's a normal looking guy. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, his voice in that bank account make Fuck. him look like John Stamos in his prime. John, St have you ever seen pictures of Brad Pitt in his prime? Bro, I saw a picture of Brad Pitt the other day, like of him just, you see him, he was out somewhere. He had like his hair all flowy and he had one shoe on and I was like, my dick just shot off like a goddamn octopus. octopus. That man looked good. Man, look good. He looks good all of the time. You ever like? You ever have days where you go, "Oh shit, I look good," and the other days you're like, "Should I go outside or I'm gonna make an old lady die?" Right? There's Dude, those days. I saw, I saw a reflection of myself this morning. Did one of those like shower before bed, so however the hair looked, Word. and then I had a little stupid mustache going, and then I got startled at 8 a.m. because I got a phone call. Then I looked in the mirror. I was like, I look like I sell Play-Doh made out of heroin. <laughs> this is not good. I need. To get it together. Yeah. And then you shower, you put some shit in the hair, you shave a mustache, and you're like, I still look who like wants shit. What the fuck? <laughs> An octopus, that's who. Um, so the answer to that question uh, is no. I, I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no way. I can't compete with someone with that. Also, ma mainly R&B singers are hot as shit. Maybe I could take Usher's yeah. girl because Usher got the hurt burps. But other than that, I don't think so. Uh, but even that even that there's no way you tell me you can compete up with let it burn and yeah sometimes i'll just put on yeah just just to fucking get my balls feeling good sometimes honestly the best part of usher that song is Ludacris's verse a hundred percent oh i'm sorry or Ludacris just took that song carried it I love laid it to bed, brought it back home carried it i love when they did the second one what's the second one? Oh, lovers and friends bro right here Lovers and Friends, Never yo. Fucking, I don't think we can play it, but just listen to it. It's fire. And you'll know exactly the song, too. Oh, yeah. There you go. So good. Oh, they got the East Side Boys on it. Fuck Where yeah. are they at? The West Side? No, oh, all right. Uh, what else we got going on? All right, let's do a, let's do a Secret Sark. Let's do it. Uh, this is an anonymous <laughs> listener who says, one time this guy tried to get me to have sex with him by promising that he would be really fast. It wouldn't take long. He'd be, he'd be what? That it wouldn't take long. He would do it really fast. Even creepier. I mean. It's so creepy. I hate that. So, oh, it's so, so, so creepy, but also really funny to be like, it's going to be over so fast. Well, he said it like he wanted, he like asked an Uber driver to stop at Taco Bell on his way home. Like, I promise, it'll be really quick. Do you want anything? I'll get you something. Can we just stop and get uh, Crunch Up Supreme? It'll be really quick. <laughs> that is, that is, it's so fun. Like, that's how like low self-esteem that dude had. Or like how desperate he was that he's like, "Don't worry, I'll come super fast." Just a, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, the whole thing is fucking creepy, dude. Yeah, I'll be quick. If you guys were already dating and she's like, "I'm not really in the mood," like whatever, he's like, "I just gotta go to work." Like you, you can be quick. But if she's not down, what what makes you think going fast is gonna help? Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're at a level in the uh, conversation where you're pleading and your comeback is it'll be fast, ye done lost, sir. It's over. Yeah, it's just you should yeah. you should have tapped out 14 minutes ago. It'll be fast. You should have known when she said no when you walked up. Have you ever walked up to a girl and she says no? 
Yeah. That happened to me at a bar. Like I literally, and I wasn't even, <laughs> okay, let me take that. Okay. I definitely was going to talk to her eventually, but I wasn't going to talk to her at that moment. I was getting myself next to, next to her at the bar and I was going to like order a drink and then talk to her. But I literally walked up and she turned, turned and goes, no. <laughs> I was like, oh my here's God. The, the thing is, is like, I think girls probably get meaner throughout the night because they're just fed Dude, up with dudes coming up. 100%. If you get hit with a no at 9.30, kind of a little aggressive on her part. But if it's like 1.30 and you're like, what up? You know what rhymes with dick? <laughs> She's like, no, everything rhymes with dick. I was gonna say pick, 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 picnic. Wanna, wanna get dick on a picnic <laughs> title? <laughs> um, no, that is, it hurts though. Oh. Cause in your head you're like, no, I'm not a piece of shit. I'm a good guy. Let's give me a chance. But when you get hit with a no, I'm out for the night. I'm not talking to another girl. Oh yeah, uh, we maybe talked about it before. I I can take one no and it's over. I have friends that'll Whole take that'll take ninety one no's. Dude, no, one no, just done. Those are the same type of guys just who aren't phased by anything. They rip a shot, double shot of warm tequila. No, nothing on their face. Yeah, they jump nothing. off. They jump off a pontoon boat. They lose a fucking arm, and you go, Rick, your arm. And he goes, ah, I guess I don't have an arm anymore. The fuck, yeah. Rick, Rick. <laughs> oh boy. Um, um, guys. Well, to wrap things up, merch. Again, it'll be up all week. Stuff. We record this in advance. Uh, obviously, COVID. I don't have it. Fuck twelve. Um. So we don't know what is sold out. It's been out for two days, but. Hit our website. We'll put the link in the Instagram. It's in the YouTube bio. It's everywhere that you can find it. We will be promoting the shit out of it all week. Uh, this is a big drop for us, and, and we've spent a lot of time. Michael's really crushed it, getting everything together. So thank him. I just had you know a pretty face and a big nose. But other than that, <laughs> um, guys, we got some really cool stuff. I got my transitive property merch in the other room that I've been rocking the fuck out of. Oh, yeah. So some really cool stuff. Buy it for a friend, do whatever. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Guys, as I always say, thank you so much for uh, being part of the community, listening and watching. Uh, go on iTunes, rate, subscribe, and review. It really helps us out in the charts. Um, and yeah, man, have a fucking great day. And I hope you guys, uh, you know, have great Thanksgivings and, and blah, 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 blah. And I love you guys. Peace. Yeah, bro. happy Thanksgiving.